Earthlings, I'm Therese. In this video, I'm gonna be answering your subscriber questions. The questions that are in this video is how to manifest a million dollars in one year? And should I risk 400,000 euros to attract my dream apartment? So if this sounds good to you, keep on watching. Before we get started, Earthlings, quick question. Let me know in the comments below if you like this type of video. It was inspired because of you guys. So many people are asking if I do coaching or have room in my financial planning practice and I have a wait list that's long. And I was like, how can I still help? And I thought making a weekly video of your subscriber questions might do the trick. So if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, that's cool too. I can make something else. So the first question that I'll be answering today is how to manifest a million dollars in one year. And since that is very similar to my manifestation of manifesting a $1 million yearly income stream, and it's working out qu quite amazing, I thought you guys would like to know how to do it too. Our first question is from Sunny. Hey, my question is, let's say I wanna make a million dollars. Estimating it would take about 12 months to manifest, would it work this way to have it put out to the universe? Or should I be specific and visualize how I'm gonna make the money like winning the lottery or selling some of my songs? Anytime, guys you want to manifest money and you want it to come like super fast, like speed of light fast, you only have to do one thing. Figure out what you're going to give and let go of the money. The money is a result. Money is like losing weight. Let's say you want to lose weight, but you just keep jumping on the scale, jumping on the scale. You're not going to lose that weight that way. You can actually take that scale and throw it out your window and focus on exercising and eating healthy and you will lose weight. Money is the exact same thing. All money is is a result of abundance. So if you give abundance, you will receive abundance. And I know this to be a fact because this is how I grew my net worth to over a million dollars. Is when I was in India, I was, I was a bartender before I went off to do yoga for three months in India. And as I was there, I was like, what do I want to do? And I got the answer of give what you want. And I'm like, well, I want to be wealthy. So make people wealthier. So now that I'm manifesting a million dollar yearly income stream, I at first did not think of any money. I let go of the money. I already knew that the money was there and waiting for me. December 31st, 2021, I will have a million dollar income stream or before. So I could let that go. I know that was already created. Now I just had to focus on what I was giving. And the universe does not know big or small, but if you want your income to stream to grow, the more people that you can help, the more money that will flow back to you. So to me, a million dollars is a lot of money. So I think, how can I help more people? So for Skinny, I would say, focus on selling songs because songs can help lots of people. That is your gift. And another subscriber asked me, well, how much money have you made from your million dollar yearly income stream manifestation? So if you guys want to know that, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video about it if there's enough interest. Now this next subscriber almost went into financial ruin thinking that she was being called by the law of attraction. This is a cautionary tale, and that's why I found it so important to include here, so it doesn't happen to any of you. As a financial planner, this next question I had to respond to immediately. I was afraid she was gonna run off a cliff of financial ruin, investing over 400,000 euros that she did not have. Let me read her, her note. I've been trying to manifest an apartment of my own for some time, and there is a new development happening in my hometown. There is a penthouse apartment that I want so much that I'm willing to risk a lot of money for it. I am a self-employed graphic designer with not even nearly enough money in my bank account to buy one straight out, but the apartments are being sold so quickly, and I'm worried that I won't be able to get one before they're gone. The price to reserve one is 5,000 euros, which I do have, and I could spend right now to reserve one, but I would need to do the rest of the money, 400,000 euros, in the next six months to be able to buy it. All of the law of attraction advice I read and listen to implies that I should go for it and reserve the apartment and just believe that I will have the money by the time I need it. Earthlings, what do you think? You think this is the law of attraction at work? Should she go for the apartment? Vote in the comments below. 
my advice, I actually responded to her the instant I saw this because it's screaming, hell no, this is not the law of attraction at work. This is the sneaky voice of fear at work fear of missing out, fear that she will not get her dream apartment. Let me tell you, my darling dearest, you cannot miss out on your manifestation. Even if everybody else in the whole city wants those apartments and they're all sold up, another one will be built for you that you want even more. I can tell right away, this is not law of attraction. This is fear. And the tricky thing about fear is there's two types. There is the type that is trying to save our life. Like she's a, she says at the end of this, I'm scared to do it. This is the type of fear saving your life. You should be scared of doing this because this is the fear of missing out is not the law of attraction leading you as opposed to the other type of fear that will appear when your manifestations are coming. And this is the fear of moving outside your comfort zone. And if you are manifesting something bigger than you currently have, you have to evolve and grow bigger to get it. For example, when a client was manifesting getting a 10% raise and I said, great, we got to go tell somebody, you got to tell the world about your manifestation, fear <laughs> froze her veins cold. She did not want to do that. That is the fear. That is what it will feel like to get your manifestation. Just go watch Britain's Got Talent. Every contestant, before they go on, they're saying they want to puke, they want to throw up, but they're so excited to be there because they're living their dream. So it's really important to know what type of fear is speaking to you that is fear of missing out, you're desperate, you're scared, you're lonely, anything like that, that is not, don't go that direction else you will attract more of those negative feelings. And if it's to get your manifestation, you will feel the fear of discomfort, of growing, of being judged, of not pleasing people. It's more like this. So if that helped you out, would you do me a favor and just sprinkle some love on that like button? And if you want me to answer your question, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, my darling earthlings, ciao!